Breaking family, I cannot believe how big of a video I have for you today. We just have to do one thing first. We just have to get all of this back up to the studio. Wish me luck. Almost there. Don't drop it. Just a couple more steps. All right, so close, but yet still so far. Whew, that wasn't a smart decision. Where am I gonna sit? What is up my Breaking family? Sending some positive vibes in your direction. And today I have the ultimate Hidden Fates opening. That's right, your boy Real Breaking Nate came through for you today. We are opening up one of every single Hidden Fates product ever released. We are talking a total of 75 Hidden Fates booster packs all together in today's Pokemon opening my poor wallet. So breaking family, let's not wait any longer. Let's go ahead and dive right in. We're gonna open them up in order. I don't think I'm ready, but I have to be. I mean, this is a lot of pressure right here. Every single Hidden Fates product, I'm ready to jump into it. Let's do it. And of course, as you all know, I am on some sort of weird mission that I feel like is impossible to complete. I am trying to get one of every single Hidden Fates card, even all the reverse hollows. There is the Hidden Fates binder right back there, the Pokeball binder. So at the very end of today's video, we are gonna add in the cards we need it. And hopefully after today's Pokemon opening is over, we will have completed the set. We still need precisely 20 more cards. Breaking family, I think we can do it. And we're gonna start off with the very first Hidden Fates product that was ever released right here, the Mewtwo and Mew pin collections. These did retail for about $15 US. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. Now, of course, we already have the shiny Charizard. We actually have two of those, but we're still missing three of the, um, the gold Tapus. We're also missing, uh, we actually don't have any of the, the secret rare trainer card. No, we, I don't know. Do we have any of the, we're missing a couple of them. I know that we'll figure out at the very end of today's video. I actually have a list right over here. We can kind of look at it just real quick, going through it right here. There's Sudowoodo, Magneton, Matang, Articuno, a Greninja, Electrode, uh, Banette. We got Savali right over there. We got uh, Tapu Bulu, Tapu Coco, Tapu Lele, a Shrine, uh, a Mountain, a Hill, a uh, Lady, Hiker, um, and then the employee right there. There's a bunch of stuff. You, you see the list right there. I don't need to say everything, even though I almost said about everything. There is all of the booster packs right there. And of course, the nice little Mew pin right there. Now the pin collections, I think, uh, are probably gonna be, they might be out of all of them, the most valuable Pokemon, Hidden Fates Pokemon product because they were not really restocked at all. I mean, we've seen the Elite Trainer boxes be restocked. We've seen the Pokeball collections be restocked. We've seen plenty of the tins be restocked, but we have not seen these uh, these pin collections be restocked. So if you're um, kind of curious what might be the most valuable years down the road, it's probably going to be the pin collection. So if you're looking at maybe some sort of investment, I know some of you like to invest in Pokemon cards, which are, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, maybe think about the pin collections for that. All right, here we go. Geodude, Jigglypuff, Staryu, Ekans, Eevee, Energy, Brock's Grit, Magmar, Chansey, Reverse Hello Mew, and a Chabuck. So coming in strong with a Reverse Hello Mew. Now we have all of the rares, all of the Reverse Hollows, everything from this set. We simply need shiny Pokemon and um, uh, secret rares, things like that. So uh, let's go ahead, continue onward. Second booster pack from this pin collection. And I felt like, I don't know about you, but uh, let me know in the comment section down below. I feel like the pin collections had a lot, a lot of uh, uh, like multiple pulls inside of every single pin collection box. Um, and then as the set went on it, was there not a reverse hollow? Um, okay. We better not be running into a past situation here. I will not be happy. <laughs> There's the code card right there. Second booster pack, okay. Interesting, interesting, okay. There's the code card right there. We did have a Jolteon for the rare, so out of respect, where's that Jolteon at? Um, I think I've lost the Jolteon, oh, there it is. Jolteon goes right over there in the rare pile. One, two, three, four, one, two. Hmm, okay, here we go. Paris, Charmander, Clefairy, Slowpoke, Magikarp, Energy, Sabrina Suggestion, Charmeleon, 
Chansey, Reverse Hollow Weezing, and a Lapras. So I think we simply just got an error in that, that last pack uh, because there was no Reverse Hollow. So let's go ahead and jump into our Mewtwo one. But I feel like it's been harder and harder to pull shiny Pokemon as more products got released. I don't know, at least that's just my experience. I know everybody's experience is different. So, um, just let me know your thoughts. Um, and then while you're at it, down in the comment section down below, which I think is gonna be very, very important, let me know your favorite Hidden Fates item out of every single one of these. You don't have to go based off of pulls, but just let me know which item you really enjoy the most out of every single Hidden Fates product released. All right, there's the code card right there that will unlock that Mewtwo. Very, very nice. I'll set that off to the side. There is the Mewtwo pin. Very, very cool. Who's a pin collector out there of all the Pokemon pins? Let me know. Let's go ahead and get into our booster pack. Now, we don't have any shiny Pokemon so far. A little bit of a sad situation, but it's okay. It's okay. We still have 70-some booster packs to open up. Eevee. Clefairy. Clefairy. Sad, sad Caterpie. Energy, Misty's Gym, Brock's Gym, Metapod Pod, Reverse Hollow Weezing, and a Mew, Reverse Hollow Weezing's back to back, and a code card for all of you, the Breaking Family. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to come and join me and have some fun. I truly appreciate it. Maybe you had a long day at work. Um, maybe, uh, maybe you just had a rough day from the moment you woke up and got out of bed. Um, whatever it is, I hope after today's video, you can leave with a smile, maybe you laughed or something like that, or you just felt inspired. That's truly what I want you to get out of today's video. It's just some, oh, nice. Shining Pokemon is some good and positive vibes. That's all I ever want for you all. Giovanni's Exile Full Art and a Shiny Feramosa in the same booster pack. No greater feeling than pulling two really awesome cards from the same booster pack. So let's go ahead and sleeve those up. I don't believe Feramosa is on our list. It is not. So these are actually going to be doubles. And then as we pull ultra rares, things like that, you will see the values right down there in the corner of your screen. I put up the values in every single Pokemon opening and those values are based off of as I'm recording this video. So maybe a year from now, the values might go down or the values might increase. So just kind of a little um, a little marker for you so you can kind of tell what your cards are worth. Eevee, Jigglypuff, Coughing, <coughs> Energy, Sabrina Suggestion. Let me suggest to you, Sabrina, let's give us an ultra rare. Snorlax and a hollow rare Vaporeon. So right there, there was both of the pin collection boxes. And honestly, those might be my favorite items out of all of these. Um, I don't know. I'll wait till the end to, to, to really figure out, to, to really figure out, yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and jump straight into, uh, straight into these tins. These were $20 US each. Uh, there was Gyarados, Raichu, and Charizard. These came out next. Here is the Gyarados promo, very, very nice. And the code card for that, you will see the code card from every single item throughout this video. So make sure you are ready to get yourself a code card. Let's go ahead and jump into this one next. I think after a bit, we might have to stop doing the card trick because it's going to, uh, my fingers are gonna start to hurt after a while, basically. Eevee, Ekans, Paris, waving high. How you doing, Paris? Caterpie, Charmander, Energy. Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, Magmar, Misty's Gem, Reverse Hollow Energy, and a wheezing. A lot of wheezing throughout this video. I don't know how I feel about that. I'll, I'll welcome wheezing, though. I don't dislike you, wheezing. I just wish you were a little less common. We seem to be pulling a lot of you right now, but that's okay. That's okay. I love you. Psyduck, best Pokemon ever in the entire world. Don't try to tell me differently because we all know it's Psyduck. You may think it's Greninja. You may think it's, I don't know, Magikarp. Magikarp's pretty cool though. You may think it's Scyther. I don't know, but we all know Psyduck is the best Pokemon ever. Cubone, Reverse Aloe, and a Hollow Rare Zapdos. Don't try to convince me otherwise. There's the code card right there for the Pokemon TCG Online. Next up, there is going to be a lot of trash on the ground and I personally don't want to pick it up but responsibilities I got to adult who wants to adult so boring right 
Okay, here we go. Geodude, Pikachu, Clefairy, Cubone, Jigglypuff, Energy, Giovanni's Exile, Brock's Gym, Koga's Trap. There we go. Breaking family. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, Secret Rare Mountain, Mount Coronet right there. And we needed that. That was on the list. Boom, right there on the list. We needed that one and a Mr. Mime. I apologize to Mr. Mime and Mr. Mime's family, but we pulled a really, really good card. So Mr. Mime, you have to go to the sidelines right now. I do apologize right here. This is the star of the show. The Mount Coronet right here. Secret rare gold goodness. There's the code card. Whoosh. Let me go ahead and sleeve it up where my sleeves go. I am very, very happy about that breaking family. Whoop. Nice, right up here in the VIP section, the very important Pokemon section. I wish I had a nice little velvet rope, a little miniature velvet, velvet, velvet rope uh, that I could put right here for all of the the um, VIP section cards. Be, is there a little miniature velvet rope? Because I kind of really like to get one. <laughs> That'd be really interesting to put one right there. There's the code card. All right. Let's continue this uh, this this good pull streak right here. Psyduck, best Pokemon ever. Magikarp, Slowpoke, Voltorb. Slowpoke is the second best Pokemon ever, if you didn't know. Energy, Metapod Pod. Ooh, that Pikapek coming in strong. Jinx, Magmar, and a shiny Ralts, and an R box. So we, you see, we are getting a lot of good pulls. Um, I don't think we needed that Ralts. No, Ralts is not on the list. So. That is going to be an extra right there, right up there in the VIP section. So that was the Gyarados 10. Let's go ahead and keep things moving along with the Raichu 10 right here and the code card for that one. All right, I'm gonna set that right up there. Let's get all these booster packs out. Put that right over there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no. All right, okay, here we go. Mewtwo, shiny Mewtwo, and I do have, I do have a playlist here on this channel of every single Hidden Fates opening because we are trying to document the entire journey of trying to get one of every single Hidden Fates card. Um, and the thing is, is that I have to pull every one of them. I can't trade for them. I can't buy them off eBay. I have to literally pull every single one of them. Sabrina Suggestion, Reverse Hollow Fire Energy, and a Hollow Rare, Jesse and James, and another code card for all of you, the Breaking Family. While you're here and you're relaxed, maybe you're having a, a snack, maybe you just got off work, maybe you're currently at work right now and uh, you're probably watching this video, maybe you shouldn't be, but you're sneaking it in, I won't tell anybody, let's just keep this between us, but... Uh, I have no idea what I was about to say. <laughs> I went off on a tangent on something else. Um, yeah, I, I legit have no idea what I was about to say here. Um, okay, yeah. I feel awkward now. <laughs> Eevee, Energy, Brock's Gym, Giovanni's Exile, Koga's Trap, and a shiny Garchomp. Very, very awesome. And another Weezing. Another Weezing. Weezing, why do you got to do this to me? All right, let me go ahead and grab a sleeve for that Weezing. I really wish I could remember what I was going to say now. Oh, oh, I know what I was going to say. I said, since we're all here, and then I got off into the thing like, maybe you're watching this at work, and maybe you shouldn't be, and I'll keep that between us. I was going to say, why don't you go ahead, hit the subscribe button, become part of the Breaking Family, if you are not part of the Breaking Family yet. Uh, or maybe you are and you haven't hit that bell notification icon right at the bottom of your screen. Go ahead and do so. Get notified whenever a video goes up. We upload four to five times every single week. And there we go, Breaking Family. We needed that Ultra Beast goodness right there for our set. Boom, right there. And we just pulled it. That's what I'm talking about. Whew, that's what I'm talking about. All right. I'm getting excited. I'm getting pumped. You see, the excitement level is going up and I'm not coming down off of it. There we go. Nice. So we've pulled two cards so far that we need to complete our set. That brings it down to 18 cards left we need to complete the Hidden Fate set. All right. I'm really curious. Can we complete it today? 
I feel I feel like we can come at least pretty close, right? Jigglypuff, coughing, <clears throat> Staryu, Ekans, Caterpie, Energy, <laughs> Lieutenant Surge's strategy, Misty's determination, Jinx, Clefairy, and a Golem. You know, I'm kind of surprised. I gotta say, honestly, I'm kind of surprised. We have not pulled any birds yet. No birds yet. I'm I'm honestly surprised. Whoosh. Four more booster packs from the Charizard 10. And that is it with the Charizard. I mean, that is it with the Hidden Fates 10s after that. And then we're going to go into the Elite Trainer Box next. Put that right over there. All right, our four booster packs. Let's just go ahead and open them up from top to bottom. I'll put that right over there ever so gentle. That over there ever so gentle. All right. One, two, three, four. One, two. We have ourselves an Ekans, Psyduck, Staryu, Clefairy, Slowpoke, Angry, Angry Slowpoke, Energy, Farfetch'd, Brock's Grit, Misty's Gem, Buzzwall, how you doing, Shiny Buzzwall, and a Charizard GX, which is different from the promo version. If you did not know, they do the exact same thing, but it's just two different artworks right there. Charizard GX and a shiny Buzzwall in the same pack. Like I said, great feeling when you can pull two really nice cards in the same pack. All right, right up there. We're gonna have to start making a stack at this point because we're getting a lot, a lot of pulls. Right over there. I know I'm weird. I can't help it. I'm just being me, okay? I'm always just being me. I know some people don't like when I'm weird and being myself. I know some people say I'm cringy. I don't care. That's who I am. That's who I am. Why do I want to try to be like anybody else or try to imitate anybody else? I want to do my own thing. And this is me right here. I can't help it. Sabrina Suggestion, Metapod. And I always encourage every single one of you to be yourself. Pokemon Center Lady and a Decidueye, a shiny Decidueye GX Lapras. Decidueye GX, how you doing? Welcome to the party. It is definitely a party right now. Shiny Decidueye GX, and we, I don't believe we needed that one. We did not. So that one is also a double, or it might be a triple at this point. I don't know. It's an extra. How about we say that? It's an extra in the Hidden Fates movie. There's the code card right there. One, two, three, four, one, two. We have ourselves a Cubone, Jigglypuff, Eevee, Caterpie, Paris, Energy, Charmeleon, Jinx, Graveler, Reverse Hollow, Jesse and James, and a Butter. I know my impression's good. You don't have to tell me. You don't have to tell me. I know it's a good impression. All right, last booster pack from the tins. As you can see, the tins were on fire with a lot of really, really good pulls. Let's see if we can continue it. One more booster pack. Paris, Charmander, Slowpoke, Sorry. Energy. Landed on the ground. Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, Magmar, Misty's Gym, Reverse Hollow Psyduck. Yes, there we go. And a Hollow Rare, Zapdos. And we are moving right along into our Hidden Fates Elite Trainer Box. This is the one that got released next. Hopefully these aren't in the wrong order. I'm pretty sure I'm putting them in the correct order. I'll set that right down there. And I'll set, uh-oh, set that right over there. There's the code card right there for the Elite Trainer Box. We have 10 booster packs. We have our dice. We have our sleeves, which I might need here in just a few minutes. Our energies. There is the promo card right there, which I'll put the value of that up on there as well. There is our dividers, our counters, everything you need for some competitive play. Set all that over there. Um, energies, I'll set that over there. Okay, let's go ahead and um, dive right in. Whoo, pull after pull, it's making me sweat. I'm on fire right now. All right, here we go. Continuing with the Elite Trainer Box. This retail for about $50 US. There is 10 booster packs in it right here. This was the first time we were seeing a lot of booster packs in one hidden face item. You might possibly be able to still find these in stores. Um, so always keep a lookout for those. There's the code card right there. I'm honestly, the tins are probably the easiest thing to find. I've been finding those a lot. 
um, I can probably, uh, not walk, but I could probably drive down to my local Walmart and find a bunch of tins sitting on the shelf right now, along with some other boxes we're about to open up here in a few minutes. Slowpoke, Energy, Sabrina Suggestion, Chameleon, Chansey, Guzma, my boy, Guzma, how you doing? And in Erica's hospitality, I will never complain about pulling multiple Guzmas ever. I mean, every every artwork of Guzma that has Guzma in it is really, really good artwork. These uh, these people who have dedicated their life to making uh, artwork, Pokemon artwork, it's just my hat is off to you. It's just so good and it gets better and better with every single set. I have grown up with Pokemon my entire life and the artwork started off good and it just got better and it just got better. So I, don't, I honestly don't know how they do it. Um, that's why that's why it, it's their profession. It's their life. And uh, that's so, so awesome that they uh, dedicate their life to something they truly, truly love. Brock's Gym, Giovanni's Exile, Rivertello Paris, and a Butter Free. Look at that. All right, code card. So already a good pull in our Elite Trainer Box. I would probably say the Elite Trainer Box as well as the pin collections are probably going to be the hardest hidden face items to find out of everything. Um, now also today the Hidden Face Ultra Premium Collection Box gets released. We already opened up one of those in a video by itself last weekend um, and it's not like officially officially released yet. Uh, well, today it is now. Uh, Giovanni's Exile and a Hollow Rare Zapdos. So I don't know exactly how hard that is going to be to find or how hard it's going to be to find in the coming weeks or months. So that could be right up there with the Elite Trainer Box as well as the Pin Collection. So um, those are... We'll, we'll talk about that when we get to that product. So, all right. We have Pikachu, Voltorb, Coffin, Cubone, Geodude, Energy, Graveler, Farfetch'd. I cannot wait for our Surfetch'd card. Oh, Jinx. I hope Surfetch is in the very first Sword and Shield set. Ekans. And a Blaine's Last Stand. And this right here, I think what has to be one of the best Pokemon card artworks ever. Right? I mean, wouldn't you agree with me? Has to be. All right. Clefairy. If you want to let me know your favorite Pokemon artwork of all time, not just from Hidden Face, but legit of all time, uh, you can let me know in the comment section. I'm going to try to reply to as many comments as possible. Uh, so make sure you leave something. You can just tell me about your day if you want to. Uh, maybe you had a hard day at work. Um, maybe your boss yelled at you today, which if he did or she did, um, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I hope your day gets better from here on out. Uh, oh, that doesn't go there. But, you know, I'm going to try to reply to as many comments as possible because I like hearing what's going on in your life. We all come here together to... You know, hang out, have a good time. Dartrix, shiny Dartrix. Did we need a Dartrix? No, we did not. Ugh. Bummer. All right, and a Wigglytuff. How you doing, Wigglytuff? Can you imagine if a Wigglytuff was the hardest card to pull from the set? We all know Charizard and the value that Charizard holds. Can you imagine if it was Wigglytuff and not Charizard? Oh, we'd be living in a different world. Paris, Charmander, Clefairy, Slowpoke. Ugh. And a Magikarp that just flopped right out of my hands. Energy, Magmar, Scyther, Brock's Grit, Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, and a Bill's Analysis trying to figure out how many booster packs it's going to take to get the entire Hidden Fate set. All right, Code Card. Whew, man. I am, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Transparent right now. I'm burning up. I'm sweating. It feels like it's 100 degrees in here. Psyduck, Pikachu, Magikarp, Coughing, Energy, Chansey, Brock's Gym, Giovanni's Exile, Misty's Gym, Snorlax. No Ultra Rare, but that's perfectly okay. I know a lot of people have been asking me when I'm going to do a video on my, uh, my Pokemon Catch Arcade Machine over here or my Pokemon Snap Machine over there, both of them from around the year 2000, 2001. Um, people have been asking me when I'm going to do a video on those. They will be, it will be very, very soon, I promise. Um, so I just wanted to update you all on that because I know a lot of people have been asking. Energy, 
Misty Determination, Metapod, Chameleon, another Misty's Determination, and a Jesse and James, another code card right there. Two more booster packs. Let's go ahead and we are just going to power through these last two. We have ourselves. There we go. Breaking family. It, it happened with poor Mr. Mime again. Oh, Mr. Mime, I apologize. It happened the exact same thing when we pulled when we pulled the mountain right back there, there was a Mr. Mime as the rare and it stole the spotlight. And once again, the spotlight is getting stolen from Mr. Mime. But right here, conservation area. Look at that secret rare Pokemon card. Another card we needed to complete our collection. Boom, right there, conservation area. Let's go ahead and sleeve it up. Such a beautiful card. Look at that. Nice. Whew, we are down to what, 17 cards right now? 17 cards are needed to complete the set. I'm feeling more positive as we go along. All right, and a Kartana GX with a Raichu GX. Those last two packs were absolute fire. Did we need a Kartana GX? Kartana, Kartana, we did not need a Kartana GX. Ah, oh, bummer, but that is okay. Let's go ahead and sleeve those up, both of those, and let's go ahead and take an official count of how many pulls we have gotten so far. Whew. All right, here's the official update. We have gotten one. I'll do it this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 pulls so far. That is a huge stack and we are moving right along into the ultra ball collection both of the pokeball collection so we have the ultra ball collection right here as well as ugh, the great ball collection so let's go ahead and open these up i'm gonna go ahead and start off with the great ball collection these both retail for fifty dollars each ugh, if i can get them open $50 each, lots of paper and plastic that will be recycled, so don't worry. I'll set that right down there. It's a lot of cleaning up afterwards. We do have our nice Zorark GX promo card that you can only get inside of this box. Here is the Pokeball or the Great Ball that comes inside of this. Of course, 10 booster packs. There's the code card right there. Here is our shiny Zorark GX. I'm going to put it right over here with the promos. I'm actually going to put the promos off to the side so we don't get them mixed up. And our 10 booster packs. Like I said, this did retail for about $50 US. It was the next one to be released. And this was actually, I actually pulled a, uh, a shiny Charizard from one of these. So there's a code card right there. I pulled a shiny Charizard from... The Hidden Fates tins, as well as the uh, the Pokeball collections: Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Paris, Sai, Charmander, Energy, Farfetched, Jinx, Misty's Determination, Reverse Hollow Jigglypuff, and a Starmie GX. We have our first pull right there. I had to push all these cards off to the side because they are starting to get in my bubble right here. Starmie GX. First pull right there of our Great Ball Collection. Let's just go ahead. This one, we're not going to do the card trick. Shiny Malamar and a Golem for the rare. There's everything else from the booster pack. Put that all over there. Put that over there. All right. I wish you could all see the mess I have on this table right now because there is stuff everywhere and my brain is getting so confused. There's not a lot of knowledge up here, okay? <laughs> so uh, things start to overwhelm it very, very fast. All right. We have, oh, Shiny Magnemite and a Misty's Water Command. We actually might need that Shiny Magnemite. Let's look at the list real fast. Shiny Magnemite. Oh, Magneton. It was Shiny Magneton that we needed, so... Bummer once again, but hey, I'm not complaining about pulling a Shiny Pokemon. A Shiny Pokemon is better than no shiny Pokemon, right? Next booster pack, we have Clefable and an Electrode, which I know we do need a shiny Electrode as well to complete the collection. 
I knew I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. These packs are getting harder and harder to open up. After you open up so many, they get really hard to open up. Reverse Hello Magikarp and a Jolteon. Just wait till we get to the point to where I can't speak anymore and I start stumbling more than I do so already over every single word. Next booster pack, we have, uh-oh, I see something, Misty's Determination, and there we go. There's the birds. I knew they would invade us eventually. Energy, code card, whoosh. I knew the birds were coming. Let's go ahead and sleeve up these birds. Moltres, Zapdos, Articuno, full art. Boom, nice, we already have that one. I know we don't need that for the collection, so I don't even need to look at the list for that one. Eevee, Charmander, Psyduck, I'm put it right down there in my Psyduck pile. Scyther, and a Misty's Water Command Energy. And Code Card. Surfetched? No, just a Farfetched. So we've gotten one, two, three, four? Four hits? Yeah, four, four in this box already. Um, Cube, Glaceon. Glaceon GX and a Vaporeon. Now that is an Evolution booster pack right there if I've ever seen one. Hey, hey, and the water energy. And a code card. Wow, nice. Glaceon GX, which we did not need Glaceon. It was on the list, but it's been marked off since. So we did not need the Glaceon GX. I'm going to go ahead and get into these Hidden Face Elite Trainer Box sleeves. Sleeve that one up. Whoop. A little bit, uh, a little bit off center, I believe. If you take a nice look at it, take a look at the back real fast. Yeah, a little, a little bit miscut. If, uh, yeah, no, no, I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. I'm just trying to complete the collection. I don't care about getting them graded. That's not my thing. All right, Clefairy and a Mr. Mime. I mean, don't get me wrong. I have some graded cards. I love, uh, I love having some graded cards in my collection, but it's not really like a huge deal to me. All right, you know, I have some Psyduck graded cards because I like Psyducks. It's the best Pokemon ever. So, of course, I'm going to have those. Cubone and a full art Jesse and James. I'll actually show off my uh, my PSA 10 Psyduck collection sometime. Um, sleeves. I've been building it up. I've been working on it. I'm trying to get one of every single Psyduck card in PSA 10 form. A little bit harder than... Um, what I expected, uh, and a little bit more expensive than I expected, but I'm trying, I'm trying. I definitely have some uh, some heavy hitters already, so still looking for some more. All right, let's go ahead and jump into these. I'm not trying to like resell them or anything. I don't care about that. I just want them for my own personal happiness. All right, Metagruus, Metagruus, stuff everywhere. There it is. There is the promo from inside of this Ultra Ball Collection. There it is. There's the code card right there. Put that right back there. There is the ball right there. And our 10 booster packs coming in strong. Five and five. Now, the Metagruus one was actually the one that I pulled the shiny Charizard out of. So, maybe we can make it happen again. Hmm. Let's see if we can make it happen. I have to push the stack of ultra rares up there. All right, we have ourselves a Clefable and a Misty's Water Command Energy code card. And don't think I'm going to miss that side up. Boom, there it is in the side up pile. Okay, next booster pack. Whew. How much time do we have on this camera here? I want to make sure we're not running out of space. It's a long video today. Magmar and an Erica's Hospitality. Energy, and another code card for all of you. At this point, I don't know what's going on right here. I have stuff everywhere. And at this point, I've lost control. I've lost control, Breaking Family. We have Psyduck, Reverse Hello Snorlax, and Erica's Hospitality. This pack is a little bit on the bent side. I don't know how well you can see that. And a code card, goodness. Pokemon Company really outdid themselves with this set. It is phenomenal. Uh, Gollum and a Butterfree. I mean, think of this. Think of how, I mean, if you really think about it in terms of Pokemon, Pokemon card time, I guess is a great way to put it. 
this would be considered a little bit of an older set by now, right? We've had Cosmic Eclipse released since then. Unified Minds was released just a little, ooh, Shiny Ralts was released just a couple weeks before this. Um, so it would kind of be considered a little bit of an older set. I don't know if you want to say older set. Um, but at this point, people probably wouldn't be as super excited um, as they would normally, but this set is going strong. People are honestly still preferring to uh, open up Hidden Fates over anything else. So it's just, it's crazy. It's crazy how much people love this set, and I don't blame them. Energy and a Kangaskhan and a code card right there. Okay, gonna put everything, stack everything up. I will let you know about a nice little deal going on. So um, as of the recording, um, I think in one week, and one week is Black Friday, and Target is, oh, wait a minute, another Full Art Guzma, are you kidding me right now? Another Full Art Guzma and a Blaine's Last Stand. What in the world is going on right now? That is like the fourth Guzma I have pulled, two of them in just this video alone. Full Art Guzma, how you doing? I was letting you all know that on, um, on Black Friday, at Target, they are doing the $10 Pokemon tins. And I looked in, I looked in their um their their Black Friday thing. I can't can't remember the word for it. Um there's a code card right there, but they were showing Hidden Fates tins in the picture that were saying that tins were gonna be ten dollars. So whew, that's a mouthful. Tins were gonna be ten dollars. Um there was hidden fates in the picture, so I would definitely go to Target on Black Friday and try to grab yourself some Hidden Fates tins for $10. So hopefully, hopefully they'll be stocked up. Coughing. And an Erica's Hospitality and the code card right there. Target is actually the one place I have found the least amount of Hidden Fates. Okay, our last booster pack from the Ultra Ball collection. We have a Pokemon Center Lady and a Bills Analysis. So from this box right here, one, two, three, four, five-ish? Five-ish from that box? Not bad at all. Let's take another count. Where are we at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24 pulls so far. And we still, whew, still a lot more boxes over there. So next up, we have the Walmart exclusive Hidden Fates boxes. Now these are technically kind of like re-releases of the tins that were released previously right here. They have the exact same promo card in them. The only thing different this time around is that there's a jumbo card and it comes in box form and not tin form. These were about $20 US each. There was Charizard GX, there was Gyarados GX, and there was Raichu GX as well. So let's go ahead and open these up. These were the next ones, next hidden face items to be released. Um, and they actually came on a display. Uh, if I can get these open. There we go. They actually came on a Hidden Fates display and some of the Walmarts put their Hidden Fates display all throughout the store. So um, honestly, you just kind of have to look throughout the entire store to find this display. I found them. I went to uh, probably about four or five different Walmarts and every single Walmart have put them in a different section throughout the store. So just look everywhere literally everywhere just look so there is the raichu gx which is the exact same promo that came from the tin you can see right there boom same promo card and then there is the jumbo card right there so let's go ahead and open up our four booster packs you can let me know in the comment section down below if you have not done so uh, not done it yet what is your favorite Hidden Fates item? So if you haven't done that yet, let me know in the comment section. I want to try to reply to as many comments as possible. Or like I said, you can just simply tell me about your day or tell me about your latest Pokemon acquisition that you have added to your collection. Next booster pack, Graveler and a Misty's Water Command Energy and a code card. For all of you, the Breaking Family, I never keep any of the code cards in any of my videos. As much as I would love to use them, I think they would be better suited off 
in your hands, in your possession. So I give them to you in every single video. So if you enjoy a good code card, you can always come back here to grab yourself a code card. That's why I always suggest hitting the bell notification icon to get notified as soon as a new video goes up. You can rush over here, grab yourself a code card because they do go very, very fast. All right, Raichu, last booster pack from Raichu and a wheezing. So we didn't come in too strong energy with uh, the Raichu box. Did we even pull a hollow rare? Yeah, we did, Misty's Water Command. So unfortunately, no shiny Pokemon that time around. Let's go ahead and jump into the Gyarados box next. There we go. Let's see what the Gyarados GX box has in store for us. Put that over there. Shake the camera around because I'm a professional like that. And the Gyarados Jumbo. So Gyarados Jumbo, Gyarados promo, exact same one from the 10 and four booster packs. Oh, and the code card. All right, Gyarados 10, can you win over Rachu GX? Oh, yeah, already we can tell. Decidueye GX and a Butterfree. Another pull right there. I'm not complaining at all. Let's go ahead and sleeve up Decidueye GX. Whoop. There we go. Nice, right up there in the VIP section. Whew. There's a lot of people partying in the VIP section right now. That's a lot. That is a lot, Breaking Family. I don't know if I will ever see that many Hidden Fates pulls in one video ever again. Karelia and another Birds Energy and Code Card. Let's go ahead and sleeve those up. Did I need Karelia? I did not, unfortunately. So... Whew, I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna be able to complete the complete the set here. We have what? Two, four, so six. 21, 21 packs left. 21 packs left to try to pull everything. All right, Paris. Psyduck, best Pokemon ever, and a Butterfree. That's like our millionth Butterfree that we've pulled at this point. And a code card. All right, last booster pack from Gyarados GX is going to a Reverse Hollow Eevee and a Hollow Rare Eevee. Very, very fitting. Marie would absolutely love that pack right there. Breathe, breathe. Everything is out of control on my desk right here. Let's go ahead and get to the Charizard box next. I'm trying not to, uh, try not to freak out here because there's a lot going on. Okay, come on. Come on, Charizard box. Don't give me trouble. Don't make me look like a fool in front of everybody. There we go. I know I could count on you, Charizard. Okay, plastic. Right over there. Charizard. How you doing, Charizard? Right over there in the promo pile. One, two, three. <laughs> My hands are uh, deciding not to work anymore. There's the jumbo card. There is the code card. Four booster packs. Will Charizard be the best box out of all of these Walmart exclusive boxes? Re uh, not Reverse Hollow Shuppet. See, I told you we'd get to the point to where I couldn't speak. Shiny Shuppet and a Hollow Rare Zapdos Energy and a code card. Let's go ahead and sleeve up this Shuppet. I mean, that's a, this is a lot of booster packs to open up, right? It's a lot of booster packs. All right, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling, oh, uh, yes, Bennett. How you doing, Bennett GX and a Hollow Rare Zapdos Energy and a code card, Bennett, Bennett. I feel like singing a song. I feel like singing a song, Breaking Family. That is a card we needed to complete the set. Um, right, right is, where is it? I know we needed it, right? We needed it, right? Did we not need it? Wait a minute, did we not need it? Oh no, oh no. I feel like we need it. Oh no, there it is. There it is, I, could, I, just, I guess I can't read. See, I told you we'd reach that point in the video where I'd start to completely lose my mind. And we have hit that point, whatever timestamp it is. <laughs> that's what it, oh wait a minute. Articuno GX, are you kidding me? In the same box. Articuno GX, I know we needed that one. There it is, Articuno, same box. I cannot believe this. I am flipping out right now. Let me go ahead and sleeve that up. 
Articuno, how you doing? Welcome to the VIP party. I would definitely say the Charizard box one, okay? All right, we, are you kidding me? Look at this. Zygarde GX, what in the world right now? What in the world is going on? We needed Zygarde too. Look at that, Zygarde, Bennett, and Articuno. We pulled back to back to back and we needed all three of those. What is this? What is this? What kind of magic is going on right now? Zygarde GX. Wow. Look at that. Let's go ahead. Let's let's do another count and then we'll get into the very last item. All right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. 31 pulls so far. Okay, burning up here. Ugh. We got the big one right here. We saved the best for last right here. The last Hidden Fates item. Apparently it's the last one. No more has been announced, so this is probably the very last item. It is the Ultra Premium Collection Box right here. The Hidden Fates Ultra Premium Collection Box coming in at $100 US for this entire box right here. And it is a massive breaking family. If you did not see when we opened up this box, um, in last week's video, I will go through everything right now so you can see it. There is a play mat inside of it. I'll show you that here in just a minute and a lot of other things. Let me get this out of the box here. Ever so gentle. So if you have not seen what comes inside of this, here is the play mat right here. It is the Hidden Fates artwork. Take a nice Look at that right there. It is absolutely beautiful, gorgeous artwork right there. Hidden Fates play mat. I do really, really like this. The colors stand out really, really nice on it. So that is definitely something I would use for competitive play. Then we also have a very, very interesting item right here. This is a shiny Ray Ray, and it's supposed to display one of your most favorite Pokemon cards in your collection. You can see right down there, there is a little spot and you just insert your card into it just like that, and then it displays it. How interesting. I've never seen something like this in a Pokemon TCG product before. It will fit a sleeved card, but it will not fit a top loader or a PSA card. We tried all that out in the video where we just solely dedicated to opening up the Ultra Premium Collection Box. So if you want more in-depth of that, go watch that video. But then we also have what I think everybody is excited about right here. We have two gold Pokemon cards right here. We have a Solgaleo GX. We have a Lunala GX, and I do love the purple right there. And then, of course, right here, we have our shiny Ray Ray, a card that a lot of people are wanting to add to their collection. And this is the only way you're going to be able to get it is this ultra premium collection box right here. And the code card, of course. But let me go ahead and sleeve these up. I think I have to sleeve these up. Per, per the rules, we have to sleeve these up. So let's go ahead and sleeve. Sleeve and sleeve. I'm not gonna put those in the pull section. I wanna put them right over there in the uh, the promo section. We can go ahead and open these up. We got 15 booster packs. This is the most booster packs you can get from a Hidden Fates product. 15 booster packs coming in at $100 US. It officially got released as of this recording, or I guess I should say as this video is uploaded, the day this video is uploaded um, is when this Ultra Premium box came out. And this is every Hidden Fates product that you can get your hands on right here in today's video. There's the code card right there. So hopefully this helps you out if you're new to the Pokemon card game, if you're a longtime fan of the card game or a Pokemon in general, or maybe you're thinking, oh, shiny Charmander, or maybe you're thinking about getting into the card game. Hopefully this helps you out whether you be a collector or just a casual fan. Whoever you are, hopefully this video helped you or you just enjoyed it. All right, Shiny Charmander, how you doing? Going into the next booster pack. We have Ekans and I see something. Starmie GX and a code card. Don't forget, after we've opened up every single booster pack, we are gonna grab that binder right back there and we are going to add in the cards that we needed and then take an official count 
of how many cards we need to complete the set. Or maybe we will complete the set. I don't know. Psyduck, Staryu, Misty's Gem, Golem for the rare energy. And a code card right there. Oh, man. Oh, I am. I'm getting wore out. Darkrai, GX, and a Hollow Rare Brox Training, and the code card. I needed to do some training before this. I thought all the Hidden Fates that I've opened up so far, that would have been a good enough training for today's video, but no. It was not. It was not enough training. We have a Slowpoke, Reverse Hello Slowpoke, and a Misty's Water Command Energy, and another code card. How many do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packs left. Okay, Charmander. Pokemon Center Lady, which I'm still upset there is not a full art Pokemon Center Lady in the set. Would have been a great time to release one. Ekans. Kangaskhan and a Blaine's Last Stand. So only one ultra rare so far. Okay, this is all a mess over here. I'm not even going to mess with it at this point. We are on a mission. Shiny Ralts and a Kangaskhan for the rare. Shiny Ralts. Everything else inside of that. Code card. Whoosh. Whoosh. Oh, I got to sleeve up the Ralts. Sorry, Ralts. My apologies to you. Okay, shiny Mewtwo pack artwork. Hands, come on. Keep working, keep working. Here we go. We have Jesse and James and a Snorlax. Definitely got those Snorlax vibes going on. Jigglypuff and Graveler and a Mew. So two shiny Pokemon so far? Yeah, two shiny Pokemon so far inside of this ultra premium collection box. Four packs left. We are getting down to it, Breaking Family. It is coming close. We have Lycanroc GX and a Brox Training Hollow Rare. This has been such, such a, a great video to do. I've had this planned for a very long time. I knew once Hidden Fate started coming out, I wanted to do a video where I opened up every single item, but obviously I had to wait until they released everything, and we are finally able to do it. I'm so happy. We have Voltorb and a Snorlax for the rare energy. Code card. Oh, fell out of my hand. Code card. Two booster packs left, Breaking Family. Do me a favor, give this video a thumbs up. I would definitely appreciate it so much. Would mean a lot to me. Reverse Hello, Bill's analysis, it takes legit just a second to hit that thumbs up button, that like button. I would appreciate it so much. Last booster pack, Breaking Family. We did it. I cannot believe we made it this far. The battery on my camera is still working, yes. It's still working. We've made it. We've made it this far. Here we go. Let's use the card trick. The last booster pack. Let's do it on the last booster pack, and then we will jump into the binder right back there. We have a Psyduck, Pikachu, Magikarp, Coughing, Clefairy, Energy, Misty's Gym, Sabrina Suggestion, Pokemon Center Lady, Clefable is the rare, and a reverse hollow star you. How many pulls did we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six pulls all together. Let's go ahead, put the things into the binder and see how many more cards we need. Okay, so Articuno GX is going to be our first one, and it is Shiny Vault card number 54, and it's going to go right beside Alolan Ninetales GX. So, whoop, 
that page is complete. That's where shiny Charizard would go, but obviously I keep it in a very safe keeping in a top loader. So that's where that would go. That page is complete though. But over on the next page, we have Bayonet and some Ultra Beast goodness that's gonna go in these two spots right here, I believe. So uh, Bayonet is number 61 and it is going to go, yes. So there is Espeon GX. So right here is where it goes. And then Ultra Beast goodness is 62 and it goes right beside it. Whew, that page is almost complete as well. Just two more missing. Then we go into Zygarde. Actually, wait a minute. That might be, does Zygarde go up here? Zygarde is number 65. No, Zygarde is on the next page. I don't know why I thought it went up there. Yes, that spot right there beside, beside Lucario GX. Whoop. Nice, that page is complete full of shinies, and then we have two gold trainer cards. Conservation area, which is card number 87, and then this is card number 89. So 87, we gotta look for 87. Where is 87 at? Guzma is 84, 85, 86, 87. So right there, 87. And then Mountain is 89, which is gonna go right down there in that spot, which leaves us with a total of 14 more cards to complete our Hidden Fate set. We're gonna keep opening up Hidden Fates throughout the course of videos that we do trying to complete the set. One day, we will complete it. Oh, wrap my breaking family. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to come and hang out with this weird person right here. If you had a rough day today, don't forget tomorrow is a new day, a new day for you to get up and give it your best. I love every single one of you and do it with me now. Peace, love, and a high five.